Today we're going to do a mini review of the of the Flashforge Dreamer, which is my latest uh, acquisition uh, for 3D printers. Uh, for those of you that follow my blog, I did extensive videos on on how to use the uh, the Prusa, uh, which I used for a long time, uh, but I needed a little bit more. I needed uh, something a little bit more reliable, and I needed dual heads uh, for doing dissolvable uh, filament. Uh, because as I use a Prusa, one thing I found out is that uh, a lot of times you need supports in order to get good prints. And uh, trying to use ABS with ABS, it was very, very hard to remove uh, the filaments in some of the tight areas. So um, uh, you will see in, a, in, a, in one of the next videos is, uh, is my adventures with uh, dissolvable filament. Uh, it's actually a bit funny. Uh, and it works really well uh, with the dissolvable filament uh, and um, it will work very well just uh, two colors of the uh, same filament. It, do, it does a great job. Uh, there is the need though to make sure your nozzles are level and that will be in one of the next videos as well as how to easily level the nozzles. Uh, I found there was a lot of confusion and misinformation. It's actually quite easy uh, if you follow my uh, video. And one of the things that I never thought about was that you need to have, the, the challenge with a, a single head um, 3D printer is making sure that your uh, nozzle, your bed le is level and your nozzle is the same height all the way around. Now we have that times two uh, because we need to have, make sure that both nozzle heads are level and that it both are level on all the, uh, on all the units. And this product does a good job. Uh, this is much more precise uh, than the uh, Prusa. Um, the printouts are, are uh, reliably better. Um, uh, I don't know what to say other than the fact until you see it, uh, you, you'll be very impressed. Uh, it's also compact. Uh, everything is self-contained in the one unit, including the uh, two rolls of filament, although it takes a smaller roll. Um, uh, I don't have a problem with that. I, I, I print a lot of small parts, so I mean, I'm not into creating huge parts all the time. I think this is one of the largest parts I built. This is the um, uh, this is for taking the larger uh, one kilo spool because I had some of it left over. Uh, it, this uh, I printed it out. It attaches to the edge into the vent, and I can put the big spool in it. Um, but I I like staying with the uh, with the spools that fit inside. It's nice, neat, and more compact. Uh, the One of the great parts about it is that it has a great build surface that comes with it called BuildTac. You notice this blue sheet in here. Uh, this is probably one of the biggest advantages of those that have printed for a long time. You know that getting your uh, filament to adhere to the surface um, is really one of the biggest challenges. And I would say that you get 23% crappy jobs because of it. This product called BuildTac, which is a plastic solves all that problem. It sticks right to the build surface. Uh, it's good for everything that I'm printing at this point. Um, this is one of the biggest advantages. It eliminates all the glues and hairsprays and the kept on tape and all the other tricks that people get you to use. It's gone. It's eliminated. This does a job. A little bit of adherence and um, for example on this, uh, this just pulled right off. You can see the bottom surface is beautiful. Um, uh, this is a 3D print job. Um, this is a test, but it worked works really well. So the build surface, it's worth the price of admission just for that alone. The other thing I enjoy is the front display. Uh, this gives you all the information you need uh, in order to uh, load the filament, unload the filament. It does it automatically. Also does bed leveling right from this display. Uh, it, it's kind of kind of handy. Uh, Preheat, um, uh, doing your homes and adjustments. Everything is in this handy display. It's easy to read. Um, I really do enjoy that. Um, although um, uh, you can hook up a PC to the side, just as easy to do it right from the display. And this is also Wi-Fi enabled, so you can do all these adjustments right from your PC, including sending your print jobs. So you don't need to be transferring everything over on an SD card in order to get an output. You can just look at the computer, like what you see, send it over and away you go. So uh, that is a, uh, 
is a handy feature is the Wi-Fi and the display and the ability to send uh, jobs. The other thing I enjoy is flash print. Uh, Repetier is, 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 a, is a good product, but flash print is designed right, it's a software and slicer designed right for this product. So you don't need to guess because Repetier has a lot of features in there that are, you need to program it to be specific to your printer. This is specific to the flash print and the flash print dreamer and, and creator, and it does a great job. Uh, also, its environment allows you to make adjustments and cut your product uh, right on the bed. And then if you uh, resize this um, finger brace I, I created here, um, it was too small. I just created it right on the, um, uh, right in the software and then resaved the STL file. Really handy. So it replaces a lot of the need to go into SketchUp and do some of those modifications. So uh, for basic adjustments, Flash print is, is the way to go. Uh, so the software is easy to use and designed for this machine. Um, the, the changes, um, uh, the challenges to the product is when you have two nozzles, you have two uh, twice problems. I, I wasn't quite expecting um, that. I should have, I mean, it's only common sense. You have one uh, leveling the bed for a single nozzle is, a, is sometimes a challenge, but now you have two, and these two nozzles have to be dead even. The next video will show you how to make that uh, uh, those two nozzle heads at the same height. Um, there was I found a lot of confusion out there, but I think you'll find this uh, next video very helpful. Uh, the other one is the um, is the, one of the challenges is, and it's not a challenge. It's not a problem with the machine. It's really dissolvable filament. What's the use and what's the best? And there'll be a separate video on that. So all in all, this is, I, I really like 3D printing. I do a lot of it. Uh, before I buy anything, I normally go out and see if I can find a 3D printable part and then do it. Um, so I use my machine all the time. This is number three. And uh, my colleagues, uh, Mike has, uh, has three, um, uh, three uh, uh, 3D printers. Uh, so we have a good experience, a good broad base, and, and some of the challenges. He's uh, now into more of the flexible, um, flexible filaments, and he has a special head, and hopefully we can do a video on that one soon. So definitely this is the one to get uh, of the ones that I've seen and used. Uh, I'm very happy with this, with the display, the front surface. Uh, of the Creator and the Dreamer, I would definitely get the Dreamer uh, because I, th I think it's a lot easier to use. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short video and review on the Flashforge Dreamer. And I would definitely get this if you plan to get into 3D printing. See you next time in Emerald Meadows, and thanks for watching. And please don't forget, subscribe to my channel, and see you next time. Bye-bye.